Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. On today's video, we are going to show you how to live in Portugal for less than $25 a day. That's right, less than $25 a day. And so whether or not you are considering retiring early or just retiring in Portugal, taking a gap year, a sabbatical, or just coming and checking it out for an extended period of time, this video is for you. Because after living here for two wonderful years, we are gonna talk to you about the cost of living here in Portugal and show you how you can live in this beautiful country for less than $25 a day. So Portugal is an affordable country with an incredible quality of life. We actually just returned to the United States. We went to New York City and we really enjoyed our trip there, but it confirmed to us that Portugal is the place that we want to stay permanently. Now we make videos on this channel all about Portugal and our life in Portugal. And we get a lot of questions about the cost of living in Portugal and how someone could stay here at certain or various costs. So we decided to break down the numbers and we wanted to show you how you can come to Portugal and live here and have an incredible quality of life by only spending less than $25 a day. And because we are focusing on living in Portugal for less than $25 a day, there are some ground rules that we are going to set <laughs> when we talk about these costs. Okay, so here are our ground rules. First, for these numbers, we calculate it for a single person. So one person living here in Portugal. And second, based off of these numbers, we're making the assumption that you most likely won't be living in a large city like Lisbon or Porto. But don't let that discourage you because there are so many little beautiful cities throughout Portugal that don't get enough attention. I mean, everyone always talks about Porto and Lisbon and those are wonderful cities, but there are many other cities that have the same amenities that have the same excitement that have their own little vibe about them so even though we're not focusing on Porto or Lisbon or even expensive parts of the Algarve keep in mind that Portugal is a big beautiful country with lots of other places to live in and just to give you an idea, if you have been watching our channel, you know that we do not live in Lisbon and we do not live in Porto. We actually live in the Silver Coast. And in the Silver Coast, there are so many beautiful cities that you can live here for less than $25 a day, including where we are living. So just get out and explore Portugal and explore beyond the major cities because there are a lot of places where you can live for less than $25 a day. So our third assumption that we want to bring up is based off of these numbers, we are assuming that you are not planning on coming here and living a very incredibly extravagant lifestyle. You're not planning on eating out every single day, or you're not planning on taking flights every single month to Paris or to Rome. We're trying to keep the numbers sort of tight to show you exactly how you can live here for less than $25 a day. So with that being said, in this video, we are going to talk about housing, food, transportation, utilities, cell phones, entertainment, and clothing. And healthcare. And healthcare, <laughs> the most important. So let's start with the first cost, housing. And this is typically people's most expensive line item in their budget. But if you are looking for housing outside of Porto or Lisbon or the very touristy areas in the Algarve, you can find a wonderful place for a single person at an extremely affordable price. So for example, we found this studio in Coimbra for only 275 euro a month. Now what we're gonna do throughout this video is when we talk about euro, we are going to do the equivalent in dollars. This 275 euro a month apartment is equal to $325 a month. And if you guys are not familiar with the city of Coimbra, you definitely have to check it out. We've actually been there several times. Our girls actually have their own YouTube channel called Our Rich Journey Junior, and they did a tour of Coimbra one time when we visited. So if you wanna check out that video, we'll leave a link in the description below. 
So let's get back to housing. So we just gave you an example of an apartment in Coimbra for 325, but there are other examples throughout the country that you can find similarly, similarly priced units. But in addition to the housing rent, you're also gonna have to take into account water and then gas and electricity. So we ran the numbers based off of our family of four and the amount that we're paying, and then we adjusted it for a single person. So for water, we estimated that that you're likely be paying $20 a month. And for gas and electricity, we estimated that you would be paying $50 a month. So that would bring your grand total just for housing for a single person to $395 a month. That is a pretty good deal. But now let's move on to food because we all got to eat, right? And food is such an interesting topic because Depending on your preference, your food bill can be all over the place. And so what we did in calculating our food costs for you guys is we took our food bill and then recalculated if it was just one individual. So just to give you an example of how we eat, this is a picture of what we typically buy in a week. In fact, we bought all of this food on Friday and it usually lasts us about a week and we paid 69 euro for all of this, which is equivalent to about $80 a week for food. Now, if you're an individual shopping just for yourself, your own groceries, we think you could spend about 20 to $25 a week on groceries. So again, we were looking at our receipts for food and we were trying to figure out based off of our family of four, how a single person would eat. And we came out to $90 a month in food or grocery bills for a single person. But again, remember that is based off of our family of four and we have two teenagers and they tend to eat us out of house and home. Eat I would us say. out of house and home. <laughs> they will eat every single thing in the house and not leave. And you know what, I'll give you an example of how these girls can eat you out of house and home. The other night I had stowed away some ice creams that I was just looking forward to enjoying at the end of a very hot day. And this is what happened. Okay, so I have to show you guys something. I was so excited to have myself a little treat tonight. The midnight snack, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this too late, but it was really hot today, so I was looking forward to having one of my favorite ice creams. I came in here only to find this. Oh, but I was like, oh, oh wait, there's another. Both of them, empty. I mean, I thought I was raising my kids right, but turns out they have no sense. Absolutely no sense, or they messing with me. Because what type of cruel madness is this? Who finishes the ice creams and leaves the box in there? My mouth was all ready for a double mini chocolate caramel magnum and this. I should go wake them up with some cold water. So those are our daughters. I still haven't gotten to the bottom of who actually ate my ice creams. Christina swears she didn't. <laughs> that wasn't me. But we will, we will, we will get to the. I might have to install a booby trap. <laughs> So while Aman is racking his brain over here trying to figure out the mystery of the missing ice cream, let's move on to transportation. Now, if you are trying to save costs on transportation, the best thing is to rely on public transportation. Now we've ran the numbers and basically in whatever city that you live in, you can pretty much get a public transportation monthly pass for about $45 a month. Now keep in mind, the trick with this is to live in the city center of whatever city you decide to live in. So if you are gonna pick Coimbra to live in, for example, if you live in the city center, you don't need a car. You have all of these amenities nearby and you have great public transportation. So let's move on to the next cost, which is healthcare. And we get a lot of questions about healthcare and the costs associated with healthcare and the quality of healthcare here. Now we have private insurance, but we also have access to the public healthcare system here also. So this is how it works. When you move to Portugal and you request a visa, you go through this process and as part of your application, you need to show that you have private health insurance in Portugal. And then once you get your temporary residence card, 
you can actually submit for public health care and that public health care is free but a lot of people still choose to have public health care and private health care which is what we do now we've actually been serviced in the private health care system and also in the public health care system and we've had incredible experiences in both if you're really interested in seeing what the free public health care system is like we actually did a video on that when our daughter was hospitalized overnight for two nights here in Portugal and had to stay in the public health care system because of it so if you want to find out more about our experience there we'll leave a video link in the description below so how much is health insurance here in Portugal well if you're using the public system it's essentially free but if you also have private health insurance and if you are an individual you are going to be paying about $51 a month now keep in mind this number can actually go down if you're younger but it can also go up if you're older the price that we are quoting you is based off of the insurance that we have and if you are in the age range of I think 25 to 45 it's about $51 a month so now let's talk about cell phone and internet. Now, one of the ways that you can save a lot on these costs is by bundling them together in a package by the same provider. So we found a cell phone, internet, and cable TV package that ran for 30 euro a month, which is about $35 a month. Now, if you don't want internet or cable for your house, you can just get a cell phone and the cost for a cell phone plan here in Portugal is about $16 a month. Our next cost is for clothing. Now, Christina and I, we don't buy a lot of clothes, but finding clothes here in Portugal, you can find some amazing deals. And I am gonna talk about some stores that when you mention these stores in Portugal, <laughs> everyone knows about them because there's always a long line outside of them because of such affordable prices. The first one is lefties. Now you can buy an entire outfit from lefties for less than 10 euro. So if you are buying one outfit a month, you can spend about 10 euro on that outfit. The next place where people do a lot of shopping is Decathlon. Decathlon is very popular here in Portugal and you can find active wear there at a very affordable price. So for clothing, this really depends on each individual, where you like to shop, what you like to wear, but we estimated about $15 a month if you're really trying to keep a strict budget for clothing. But again, it can vary widely depending on your shopping habits. And now for our last category, and the one that we love the most about Portugal, entertainment. So for this entertainment category, the, co the cost that we allocated for this is $100 a month. Now we actually think that we allocated quite a high number for this, $100 a month for entertainment because we wanna give you some wiggle room. Like we said at the beginning of this video, we didn't, we had this assumption that we didn't think that you'd be coming out here and spending all sorts of money, going out to eat every night and doing all these extravagant things that cost a lot of money. But we also feel like you don't wanna come here and do absolutely <laughs> nothing. So we packed that into the budget and allocated a hundred dollars a month so that you can go out and you can explore everything that Portugal has to offer. And once you've explored everything Portugal has to offer, keep in mind that Portugal is nicely situated with access to other countries in Europe. And so if you want to leave Portugal for some reason, which I don't know why you would want to, <laughs> but if you did want to leave Portugal, Spain is your neighbor. And so you can liter literally take a bus to Spain or a train and it's not that expensive. You can take a Ryanair flight from Portugal, Lisbon or Porto are the major airports and you can go throughout Europe. I mean, there are so many things that you can do at an affordable price in Portugal that there should not be a dull moment here for you. So those are the total costs that we have for someone that would be living here in Portugal. If you have been running the numbers along with us as we're saying all the costs for each category, you would find that the results are $731 a month, which is a little less than $25 a day. It comes out to $24 and some change. But you know, we ran these numbers to really show you how you could live a budgeted lifestyle here in Portugal and live for less than $25 a day. 
Many people can live for even less than what we put for these numbers. And there are a lot of people also that live for a lot more. It really depends on you. But what we've been finding is that a lot of people want to just come here for the experience to see what it would be like, possibly to have a mini retirement, not necessarily retire, but maybe take a year off and explore Portugal and everything that it has to offer. And so maybe you don't have enough money to retire fully but you do have enough money to come here and live for under $25 a day for maybe a year or two, or two and see what it's like. So we really wanted to run those numbers for you. If you are serious about moving to Portugal and living here, make sure you check out our Moving to Portugal course where we talk about everything related to moving to Portugal, including visas, including taxes, including housing, all of these other things that you need to know about when you are moving here to Portugal. So make sure you check out that course. We'll leave a link to that course in the description below, or you can just go to ourrichjourney.com to find out more. But we hope we have got you excited about Portugal and the opportunities that Portugal has, especially when you're living on a lower budget, less than $25. So if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and join, join the, the journey. journey.